Vegan Cyclist here, telling the story about the time when I swam every day for 30 days. What happened after the course of going from not swimming at all? I'm gonna walk you through how from day one to day 30, and in the end, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the gadgets that I found were really helpful to make swimming a much more enjoyable experience, because at first, it sucks. So anyway, let's jump into it. This is the story about when I swam every day for 30 days. Okay, so this video is brought to you by Competitive Cyclist, and I know that I've talked a lot about them for cycling gear, but they also have triathlon gear. So I got some really cool uh, swim caps, dude, like this Sugar Skull, super dope, watermelon, I got like a kickboard, uh, some flip floppies, most importantly, a proper swim, uh, skin, skin suit, swimsuit, what would you call this? Uh, a wetsuit? Wet I'm gonna talk more about these products at the end of the video. Because with swimming, it's so technical that the gear really makes a difference in how enjoyable swimming is or isn't. So you can use code VEGANCYCLE15 to get 15% off your first purchase. Some brands excluded from competitive cyclists and, and maybe you just wanna try something different. Maybe you just wanna dabble your toes into the water. You can get some of your gear from competitive cyclists because they've got it all. So again, huge thank you to competitive cyclists supporting this video. I did three triathlons. I did a sprint distance here in Bass Lake, then I did two Olympic distances. I basically just thought, how hard can swimming be? Like, the buoy doesn't look that far. <sighs> okay, water is for fishes. And so then I jumped in with a skin suit, like a cycling suit with bibs, and I started swimming and immediately realized I don't know how to swim, that this is way harder than I thought it would be, and almost drowned, ended up having to just backstroke my way, I was zigzagging all over the course, thought I was gonna die. So then I got a knee injury, and while I was rehabbing that knee injury through SoCal Bike PT uh, with band work, um, I had to keep my motor up. I was like, well, I don't wanna just stop doing everything. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna swim. So then I went out day one, I swam. When I say swam, I mean I didn't drown. And I think I swam a total of like 100 yards in a very long period of time, like 100 yards in like 20 minutes. It was basically doggy paddling. I couldn't stay on top of my stomach for anything longer than five minutes. Day two and day three is where I kind of started to go, you know what, this is gonna be the deal. I'm gonna do this for 30 days. Because no matter what you do, if you do it for 30 days, you'll get somewhat better at it. You will make gains. And since I couldn't be on the bike for 30 days really anyway, I was like, well, this will be perfect. At the end of day three, I was so frustrated with not being able to breathe. And I didn't have goggles, okay? So I, I was just swimming with my head above the water and I my legs would just start dropping down and I would just basically be sinking. I'd swim, like I said, maybe a total of 100 yards in like three different sessions. I'd swim like 25 yards at a time. And so I grabbed this like snorkel mask that I had from Hawaii. And I was like, oh bro, I've just hacked the system. No one's ever thought of this before. This is perfect. All right, so this is day four of swimming and the first three days have sucked. And I did, before you like go, what are you doing? I'm gonna roll this, this mask bed. Okay, so with the mask, I'll be able to just keep my head under the water and just pew, and I think it'll be able to allow me to swim for longer because my technique's not down yet right this is super cheating okay it's like a snorkel basically but this might make it more enjoyable because I won't have to worry about breathing or seeing or anything head down swim get the workout Okay, that did not work. If you're snorkeling, dude, this is this thing's amazing. If you're trying to see like fishes and shit. But the the way this little ball works, like if you submerge this underwater, it clogs it, stops you from from breathing. And when you're breathing hard, 
it actually sucks the ball down. So there's no way to, there's no way to breathe heavily. The uh, amount of, of not wanting to swim is so high. This is day five and I don't want to swim. I, my brain is just spitting out excuse after excuse after, after excuse of why it's okay to not swim today. I don't want to swim, bro, at all. But we're going to get it done. I hate swimming. I hate swimming so much. It's so stupid. Yeah. Swimming is so stupid, dude. You can't breathe. You can't see anything. You go nowhere. It's just... It's the dumbest mode of transportation. You know, like on a bike, dude, you can go really hard for a long time. Like, dude, you kind of go a little too hard, and then you're, then like you sink and drown. Five days in, shit's the worst. So then, day six, I actually PR'd my farthest distance, bro. Day six of swim fest, swim in Palooza. I actually swam today. I actually legitimately was like in the flow, bro. I swam the furthest I've ever swam, which was like, I don't know if you can, whatever, that's the first, I swam to the second buoy without stopping. Then on the way back, dude, I was like, just in it, bro. I was just like actually flowing in the water. Still super dumb uh, and I'm not really enjoying it, but today was, was a huge improvement. Now here's the thing, man, is like, I got these from Competitive Cyclist. Bro, I'm really into eyewear. I really like my Oakleys. I like big, you know, goggle look. Dude, there's no possible way you'll ever look cool in swim goggles. Hey, sport of swimming. D do something about this, man. Cause this is ter- And then I just like suction cup my eyeballs out. No matter what you do, you're not looking good. But having goggles, was a game changer. So today, so yesterday I kind of did my PR of like how far I've gone. Today I, I PR'd my PR. So like I went out to the second buoy and then turned around and came back, like didn't stop the whole time, didn't have to doggy paddle, didn't have to backstroke. Dude, and then I got back and like mentally, I was just like, I do not want to swim. I do not want to do this. I do not want to do this. I do not want to do this. But then once I did it, once I got out there, I was like, ah, oh, cool. And then I actually ended up doing three laps uh, out to the second buoy. So that's like pretty neat, dude. I'm really enjoying the process of learning something new and seeing like the learning curve, like getting better so quickly. I actually swam all the way out to this long buoy without back stroking. Like I stayed on my stomach because now with goggles, my head wasn't above the water. I was actually, my head was in the water. I mean, it's still, having a real hard time breathing, like sucking in water and it's terrible. But I actually ended up swimming consistently for about 10 minutes. Hey, it's day eight. It's been one week, bro. We've swam every day for one week. And so now I'm feeling good, dude. I'm really kind of sort of getting the hang of it. I mean, obviously I, my technique is still garbage, but I'm able to swim more and more and more actually swimming. So there's one, two, three, four buoys. I'm gonna swim out to the fourth buoy and back without stopping, without back uh, stroking, without doggy paddling. It'll be the furthest I've swam uh, ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like swimming. I just mentally hate swimming. I don't like it right now. There is really no like reward other than, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's making my whole body a little bit better, like my whole overall fitness and just like the challenge of overcoming the mind saying, don't swim, it's stupid. And then just like kind of suppressing that, getting out there and doing it. Cause usually when I'm done, I feel good, I feel accomplished. But it's just this first initial like get in the water. That's the buoy, way out there, dude. Look at that. Yeah, yes, dude, and I did. I made it out there swimming. When I got out there, I was a little fatigued. So I kind of doggy paddled for just like, I don't know, five seconds. And then I started, so I made about halfway back. And then I threw on the, the backstroke. Just was kind of like sucking air and getting a little tired. 
So like my form and technique was just totally off and totally bad. So I don't really want to swim with shit technique, you know, just to swim. Like I can do, I can backstroke and get the fitness aspect of it. But I'm really trying to learn the technique of swimming. So that's definitely do the farthest that I've gone without stopping. And I mean, I that maybe that buoy to some people is not far, but bro, that's to me that's far. It's not super impressive, but we've come a long way in eight days, dude. I've been posting all this on Instagram, and so day 10, I got two wonderful ladies down in Fresno to come up and help me sort of learn some of the basics, because I knew nothing. Uh, I'm just splashing about. They actually took all day to really teach me how to swim better, like how to breathe, what's the word, like they had these like this little beeping thing that went in your ear and it beeped like so you could have some sort of pace. And that helped me so much was to learn a cadence. So instead of just like doing this, right, I was, it was beeping in my ear and then I'd like coast and then beep coast and then beep coast. They also got me dialed in with a swim cap uh, which made a big difference because like my hair was kind of just getting all over the place and then you start to like go a little more streamlined. But just the biggest thing was they were showing me how to do total immersion swimming. So a, a style of swimming that helps you be really efficient. Uh, day, oh look at my hair. Day nine, 10, something like that. I got some help, dude, from two wonderful ladies who swim. I pretty much got like a full on lesson right now, like a legit lesson in the water. Oh, what was her name? Amelia. Amelia. She was like a little bit of a total immersion. So she kind of showed me some um, body, position, body, bleh, body position for total immersion. I got some goggles. That's helped a lot. She's showing me how to breathe. I don't know, man. This is definitely the best I've ever felt. I still have a really long way to go, but I did okay, yeah? Every single day is day 14 of swimming. Every single day I've not wanted to swim. I don't want to swim, I don't want to swim. I really do not want to swim. I don't want to go in this water, I don't want to touch it. But when I'm done swimming, I'll know, I'll, be, I'll feel good and I know that. Yesterday I was like, bro, just swim out to the first buoy and back was like 50 yards, nothing. I was like, technically that makes it to where you swam every day for 30 days, just at least get in the water. But then I ended up swimming out of the furthest buoy and it did like a thousand yards or something. It felt great. So I just got to in my mind think like, bro, you'll be pumped later. But right now, 0% of me wants to swim, but we're going to get it done. The other really cool thing, man, was how much the community came around me. Like, cause I was posting it every day on Instagram story. And so then I had all these like swimmers, like coaches of swimming, people who have gotten really good at it, just send all of this positive reinforcement and like really explain to me what I need to be doing. And so I kind of started watching some YouTube videos on total immersion and, and just how to manipulate my upper body. What was really amazing going through this journey is having, is feeling fit all over. Like, I mean, straight getting Rocky Mountains on these shoulders, dude. The lats, choo, I mean, I was like, I know I didn't, I probably didn't look any better, but I just felt better. My whole body felt better. So this is day 15, halfway through, and I like now am a swimmer. I can swim. That was very total immersion, just like gliding through the water, boom, boom. It felt so efficient. One of the ladies that helped me uh, kind of learn how to swim, she got me a watch. And now this sent me through a roller coaster of emotions. I was using the watch and it, and it would show that I was doing like, I did 3,000 yards one day. And I was like, dang, dude, I'm a freaking dolphin, bro. So day 16 or 17, and a lovely lady gave me, let me borrow a watch so I could gauge my distance. And then today, dude, I was feeling really good. Dude. I was feeling super fast. But it says I my pace is one minute for every 100 yards. And I did 1,700 yards in 17 minutes. That's not, that's not right, right? Like something's wrong with the watch. Like I need to recalibrate. Because when I did the shaver triathlon, it took me 47 minutes to do 1,600 yards. 
47 minutes. And then this is 17 minutes. And I was like, oh dude, I've missed my calling. I am the next Michael Phelps. I posted on the Instagram story and everyone was like, dude, like Michael Phelps can't even do that. Like, what are you talking about? So then I recalibrated the watch uh, for elevation because I live like at 3,500 feet. I had it set to open water. I, I went through the whole process and still it was like, I wasn't really moving that hard. I wasn't trying that hard. And it was still saying I was doing like a minute 20. And then I had a friend from high school who got into cycling, was a good swimmer. Um, he came over and, and really worked with me on like workouts. I knew his watch was right. And so I tried to stay with him when he did a, a minute 30 pace. So one, one minute 30 seconds over a hundred yards. Bro, he's flying. Like he's literally hydroplaning out of the water. He's going so fast. And, so, and I, there's no way I could hang with him. And so then I was like, okay, I'm more of like a 145 per 100 yards at full gas. Two minutes for 100 yards if I'm just like sustainable. If you haven't really started swimming or if you're getting into swimming or if you swam once and you thought it totally sucked, I get it. And it took me 14 days every day, swimming every day for 14 days before I was like, okay, I kind of get why people swim. Like I really started to enjoy the process. I started to enjoy working on technique to, to just go a little more efficient. So you, you could use your same amount of energy, but go way faster just with better technique. Now from day 15 to day 20 is where I made huge improvements. Uh, I was just, I was just in it. I was feeling good. But from day 20 to day 30, it just plateaued hard. Kind of fizzled out, dude. Like the learning curve, I sort of, it was really fun, you know, learning how to swim. But now, you know what I mean? I just, uh, to make any real significant improvements, it's going to take a long time. But... So I'm kind of just trying to muscle through this 30 days. But either way, dude, I feel like overall fit. Like my shoulders are a little more, I mean, it doesn't really look like much, but it feels like something. I didn't really want to put in the work, to be honest. I didn't want to like um, really focus on technique and do the drills. And that's where some of the, like, the, the stuff comes in. Like this little kickboard, right? I was using a kickboard that I found actually just on the side of the, like it was just abandoned. But the kickboard, would it, it helped me with my shoulders because that was one of the biggest issues was my my stroke was so wide or what or was happening i was crossing over that's what i was doing I was, my arms kept crossing over so then the kickboard kind of helped me be stable my bro who came up and helped me that was uh, super into swimming he had told me to get these like paddles to where you actually it helps you scoop the water right and so you could really go and i was like wasn't that kind of cheating and he said that what these do that really help you is it sort of helps build your muscles and it helps build technique. These ones that I have have like, it's like holds your hand there, but the ones he had, you actually had to hold it a certain way. And maybe, maybe this is like that. And I'm just not understanding how this works, but he had one where it's like, like this, like you kind of had, you, you didn't have the loop. You had to have your hand right or else it would like fall off. So I kind of started to get into some of these gadgets of helping me improve my form and help help me go faster and help me build muscle uh, in places that I didn't. But I really plateaued big time. The first 20 days was like this. Because it was like from day one to day 10, I was a fish out of water, flapping about, not swimming, just not drowning. Day 10 to day 15, really got the hang of it, started to feel pretty good, Day 15 to day 20, railing, bro. Felt awesome, got it down. Day 20 to day 30, had no more improvements. I really didn't go any faster or improve anything about my swimming ability at that end. So it was just like, Hut. So in closing, what happened by me swimming every day for 30 days was basically that I hated swimming. How do you freaking breathe, dude? Swimming is so stupid. Swimming is so stupid. You can't see anything. You go nowhere and you can't breathe. <clears throat> and if I hadn't put that challenge ahead of me and said, this is what I'm gonna do, 
this is what I'm going to do for 30 days, I would have stopped at day three and never hit the water again. And the other thing was that like, since I didn't really think I was going to like it, I didn't get any gear. I was just like, dude, I'm too cool for that. I don't want to look like that swimmer, bro. They look lame. I wanted to be like a surfer, dude, not a, not a triathlete. But the equipment 100% makes it so much more enjoyable. So if you need some equipment, you can check out Competitive Cyclist. Use code VEGANCYCLE15 for 15% off your first purchase. Some brands excluded. That's the best segue I've ever done. Even though this, dude, how dope is this swim cap, bro? It's a skull. And when I say dope, I mean it's re relative to that you are with other people looking like this. It doesn't matter what you get. Even if you get a discount on the stuff, how do you look cool? I think that's why total immersion was a thing. It's because people are just like, dude, I, I, I don't want anyone to see me, so they just stay under the water. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a lot more swimming this year, and I want to go to a triathlon and crush. I don't wanna just crush the bike, I wanna crush the swim, I wanna crush the bike, and then running sucks, so I just wanna sort of like manage the run, but I'm gonna do better in a triathlon this year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. As always, Vegan Cyclist. Yeah.